Okay, so next we're going to talk about pertussis, which Ms. Durant has already talked about some this semester. Um, the etiology, the, the organism involved is Bordetella pertussis. You need to know that it is highly contagious. What does it look like? It's a persistent, severe cough, um, and it lasts for a really long time. In young kids, they have a characteristic ho hooping sound, so they call it hooping cough or whooping cough. Um, infants may present with apneic episodes first. It has the highest morbidity and mortality in young infants, but you, the complications of this are rib fractures. They can cough until they break a rib. They can cough until they um, pass out. They can have seizures. It can lead to pneumonia and they can cough enough to cause conjunctival bleeding. Um, medical management, immunization is standard. Um, we give multiple immunizations in early childhood and then boosters are recommended um, even for adults because that immunity may not be lifelong. Um, pertussis is a self-limited um, disorder. We give a lot of supportive care but antibiotics decrease transmission, and if they're given early enough, decrease the severity and length of the illness. Nursing care, um, droplet precautions, promote comfort, hydration, fever management, and teaching. So the patient is infectious for five days after antibiotics are completed, or if it's not treated, they're infectious for three weeks, okay? Um, the cough can last for weeks, and this can be pretty miserable. All right, in the next section, we're going to talk about smoke inhalation.